all right so what I'm going to do now is just to tidy up one or two things before I run this program in the first place this was supposed to be two one thousand two hundred I might even reduce it maybe let's just let's leave it like that for now we can always reduce it later on and here there's an error here this was supposed to be the main frame and this should have been two okay and this one will be two frame number two frame number two yep yeah. okay so let's save and run and see how it looks like then i will then start with the modification there we go that is how it looks like now so what I'm going to do now is to enhance it and make it look much better than the way it looks. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to need something for my for the output. So I'm going to copy this. That will be for the result. Place that in there. And this is now going to be the same frame is right and the layer here will be 2 and this one will be 2 and let's change the name of this to result just copy that result across and change all of these to result and this as well that's good okay I'm going to enter result here that would be my variable and I've already entered a result here okay so one other thing that I'm gonna do now is I might as well just enhance let's enhance the appearance of the font and so on let's say font comma equals I'm gonna go for area area and we'll say comma 14 comma let's make that bold as well right that is the font there okay all right so let's copy that close that I'm gonna copy it but before that the BG equals 12 and just copy and paste it for the rest of the component I'm going to paste it for the text box as well here and here there okay as for the buttons let's add one or two things for the buttons maybe one we can change that around as well and for the buttons I have I say padding for the Y axis to give it some space I'm gonna make that about maybe 20 that might be too much but let's see how it's gonna look like we can always change that around okay so let's go to run save first uh, before running it I was meant to enter equals here so let's just say equals and let's try that one more time okay we need we also need to enhance I'm gonna enhance this as well so copy this and paste it in there and let's say we get it parted the X axis let's make that 12 and for the Y axis uh, the, the X that's for the Y axis Let's get a padded X axis as well. I'm gonna make that 12 as well. 
move it in a little bit okay all right that's fine let's just copy all of this from here up to here and paste that in here and one more here okay so I'm just going to save and run that is how it's it looks right now but I may have to increase the width so let's come in here just gonna say comma button width I say that is going to be maybe seven and here let's just enter that repeat the same thing here comma width repeat the same thing so that you guys can see what I'm up to So let's see how seven is going to look like okay that's it with seven so maybe just add one more and we'll take it from there okay with eight this is it so now let's do one thing that that is done I may have to settle for that I like it the way it looks let's leave that there and just make this padding make this about 14 but one thing first let's come down here and I'm gonna call that add okay that is for my calculation of everything so right in here let's say f equals this very variable here dot get oops that's, a, that's an error dot get I will repeat exactly the same thing for the second one the second one is going to be s s equals that and change this to second number this very one here we have second number and finally we want r for result equals f plus s and the result in this case we want it in here so result is going to be result dot set well, what's going on? Move it back in. The set equals R. And there. That is it. So if I run it now. Oh, just before I run it, I need to be able to call this. Let's come right down here where we have total. Let's say comma. Command equals add. So let's try that again. Enter whatever value in here. There we go. Okay. But it it has only concatenated it. So let's do something. Let's try to change it around. I'm going to enter float in there. Float. Concatenation means it just brought it all together. And let's enter another float here. okay try it one more time and tell whatever there we go that is much better so that is how you create your own addition using GUI in Python but before I call it the end of this probe I'm gonna make the interface look a bit much better than the way it looks if you notice all of this frames so I'm going to reduce this to about let's make it 800 and maybe this make it about 400 
right so the width 8 and the height is 400 then the geometry the sorry the coordinates start from 0 by 0 and here I'm going to increase that let's come in here let's change the size I mean the width okay let's make the width start with this very one here comma width equals 800 there and let's say height this one let's say equals 200 now let's get it padded pad make that to one, uh, 20 and we want it raised okay you can raise it as well let's say equals rigid rigid there so all I'll just do now is copy all of this copy that paste that right in here there and let's save and run one more time there we go guys right now one thing i'm going to add a border that's a bg equals 10. okay let's do that here as well bg equals 10. run there we go so to finalize the whole thing, just move this and let's see. Let's come back in here. The BG is 10, and let's make this very BG, maybe about 14 here, and reduce this to about 6, and this one will be 6 as well. 6. Run it one more time. Okay, I might as well just make this. Let's go for about 36 and this one 16 and 16 here. Let's copy this. I'm going to paste this in here. And what is, let's see, this is 400. Let's reduce this to about 3. Well, let's see 200 what we have when we 200 and this will become one then okay so I'm gonna run it one more time and let's see okay that looks a bit much better but 100 is too small let's make it um let's come in here let's see this will be 300 150 150 let's write i'll make maybe this is 100 and this is 200 now I'll run it and let's see how it's gonna look like there we go so maybe a little bit of space in here yeah a little bit more will be fine and then but we also need to change this let's make it 50 here and 50 here so that that's all right but this one this is supposed to be results show results okay i'm just gonna enter show results there all we're just doing now is tidying up and right here let's go for something like we just call that strictly west comma that means we want it to be strictly west yeah and repeat the same thing for all of the labels this other one there I'm now gonna run it and then I will just take it from there that is not too bad so enter a value in there and whatever here click on total there we go guys 
so all that is left for us now is just to take care of these two and we can call it the end of this program okay have a good look at those lines of codes bring it down and down again so right here so resets Reset is just going to be let's call the names of all of these components and get rid of whatever content we have in there. Come down here, and this is going to be okay. set this to yes, and the same thing. This one, copy that, paste, play, and this as well. Paste. We need to play that. Play this as well. There. So let's try out. Oh, before we try out the reset, we need to call command command reset. And that will be right here. Comma command. reset and exit as well let's do one for exit before checking it all out I'm gonna call that exit now let's write one for exit create just one come right down here it was exit Okay, as for the exit, we just enter in here root dot destroy. And enter parenthesis. That's all I'm going to write for exit. So have a good look at the lines of code before we call it the end of this program and bring it down. So I'm going to run it now. Let's take it from there. Enter whatever value in here. Here. Result. Clear. Enter more values. Run. Clear. And exit. There. And that is how you create your own GUI tutorial in Python using python 3.7 so with that guys i'm gonna call you the end of this tutorial bye for now